Hello gentle viewers, this is F Guardian welcoming you back to Out of the Park Baseball 25 with the Charlotte Silver Wolves. I don't know why I said it that way, that was super awkward. Um, yeah, uh, we're entering a new season um, and we're still kind of in this awkward transition period where I feel pretty good about some of my players, but I don't feel great about all of them. Um, in particular, we're, we're behind the eight ball offensively in a lot of ways. Um, essentially, if Sergio Zapata declines at all, we're in real trouble. Because um, he is by far the best offensive player that we have. Um, some notable developments. I never use this log. I probably should just use this log, right? Um, let's go back to the videotape. Uh, one of our biggest, uh, no, we signed Zapata and Valorama to new contracts. Um, are we going to regret those? Maybe. Uh, maybe almost positive. Maybe almost certainly. But um, Paul Skeen's retired. We did not. We opted out on um, Gunnar Henderson uh, as these things go. Um, Zapata and Valorama getting giant new contracts was kind of the first start. Um, oh, somebody asked, what happened to David Gayona? They were correct. He's already... These dumb fucks let him go on waivers. How is he on waivers? You know what? As stupid as I felt for letting him go, like, Arizona makes you feel so much better because Portland was just comically stupid. That's so funny. Uh, thank you to the person who pointed that out. That's hilarious. Um, let's see. December. We signed a couple of free agents. Our biggest free agent by far was uh, Domingo Valarama, adding another useful arm in the rotation. Um, and then if we go to January of 2040, no transactions found, people going to the IL, we had some non-roster invites, and things of that nature, so. Quiet so far. Um, wasn't our busiest of all seasons, um, but we are going to get a full season out of Mitch Couples. Uh, which I'm excited for. I think he's got a chance to be a really good player for us um, for a long time to come. We get another year of Eric Enfuso, who's not going to be worth seven more again, but I'm excited to see where he ends up. Um, we have a new third base and a Juan Salazar. Um, I am concerned about his ceiling. But I think is so I'm concerned about his floor, not his ceiling. I think his ceiling is actually very impre impressive. I don't know about his floor though, because he's kind of a one trick pony. Like I hit home runs, and I don't strike out a lot. That's good, but it does cause me concern if he can't make contact consistently enough. Hmm. Beg your pardon. Bit of the hiccups. Um. Joey Newton just keeps on keeping on. We have a very good team defense. I think that's the most underrated piece to this team right now, as we have a very underrated, we have a, a very, very highly rated defense. Um, and that could bail us out of some tough situations. J.D. Moore, I have no faith in him to be a good first season whatsoever. I just don't know where there's a better one. But we will check the waiver wire. Maybe we'll find a David Gayona. Um, Andreas Luna is actually pretty solid. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know about you. I don't think that really speaks to me. 
the first baseman. Mike Doyle is fine. Malinowski is fine. Yeah, there's really nothing here. Um, I am deeply intrigued, however, by Andres Luna, um, who has the potential to be a really good all-around outfielder. Um, I think signing him would be a. I think way picking up off of waivers would be very smart. So I'm going to try it. Um, with well, that said, our rotation is similar to last year to the addition of Valorama. Um, our closer is on the IL, so Chris Maher has been brought along for pennies on the dollar to be our new reliever. Um, we've got some good bullpen stuff up and down the line there. Could have a little bit more upside, but I'm happy with what we've got. And yeah. It wasn't the most thrilling of off-seasons, but we have a lot of stability now. Uh, now the question is going to be, how do we afford Sergio Carrillo? Like, that is the question for this coming off-season. Because he wants a shit ton of money. Like, this is objectively a lot of money. And I know it's not my money, but I have to feed a competitive team if I'm paying $44 million to a starting pitcher. I question my ability to do that. So, we'll see. We shall see. Oh, yes. Uh, Mr. Koizumi here needs to be on the 40-man. I didn't even realize he wasn't already. Uh, one final programming note as we get started here. Um, I already mentioned this in the Monday video. I imagine most people watch both videos, but in case you don't, when we're done with the Tigers, um, I'm going to drop... Uh, doing two OTP videos a week. Um, and I know that may meet with some disappointment because I know how much you guys love OTP. But the truth is, I just can't think of a better series right now. Um, nice. Um, hey, guy. Lutsov. Go away. Andres Luna, you're my only hope. Um, so yeah, so I don't really have any good ideas for OTP, um, at the moment. I don't want to do historical again for a bit, so, oh yes, I did offer Mitch Couples an extension already. Uh, my next attempt to get a player cost control when he's still quite young. Um, so yeah, so if you have, a, if you have ideas of what you'd like to see on the channel, please feel free to drop a comment and let me know. Um, but yeah, so once we're done with the integration uh, series, which will be when we're done with the Tigers, um, I'll be playing a new game for the channel. I'm not going to drop two videos, I'm just not going to do two OTP. Two OOTPs. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing something else like a Crusader Kings or Victoria 3, something where I can record a bunch of stuff uh, over the weekend or when I have some time off, and then just plug and play that into the schedule, so... Um, if you're disappointed, I'm sorry. Um, and hopefully when the new OTP comes out next year, I'll get inspired by something. But at the moment, I'm just not feeling the vibes of a second OTP series at the moment. This one will keep going, though. Um, let me make that part very clear. We're going to keep going with this one until I either get bored of it and pick a new team, or until OTP 26 comes out. So... As long as I'm running this channel, there will always be at least one OTP series. I just don't feel the need for two right now. Um, we've done everything that there is to do, in my opinion. That would be interesting. Um, so yeah. Um, now, that being said, I can always be convinced. If you're like, Avi, what about this amazing idea I just had? I'm willing to talk about it. Um, somebody had mentioned um, Football Manager. Um I'm here for it, with one very small problem, which is that I don't like football. Uh, not, um, not what people would call soccer, quote-unquote. I don't find that sport particularly engaging. Um, so I hear you, and I'm not even saying it's a bad suggestion. I'm just saying that it's not for me. Um, so I probably didn't want to put Eric Gaskin on the list. I want to put a new reliever on there, because this puts me at 12 pitchers. I mean, 12 pitches with 25 players is reasonable. Let's try it for now. 
Um, what if he didn't go Cyclone, though? What if that happened? What if he just minded his business and didn't hit my pitching? What if that happened? Uh, but yeah, lots of possibilities for new series. Um, I don't want to talk about that too much more right now, but I will. Uh, I do. I do welcome any comments that you may have about that. Um, but we'll keep going with this one until I don't know. Maybe until twenty five comes out. Eric Enfiso is holding up his gig. Uh, he's already at two point five WAR, and it's only a month and a bit into the season, which is wild. It's legitimately wild. Is he choke getting better? Alejandro Rivera getting better. It's just getting slower, but who cares? Um, <clears throat> Zapata getting better. Although he's losing contact. Um, that is gonna be his big quote unquote issue. Is as he ages, he will lose contact, and that'll make him a much more challenging. Uh, player to get behind. Uh, Jorge Ariola is improving pretty quickly, um, although he is stupid and doesn't like to work very hard, so maybe he won't get all that great. Any big changes here? Not really. Oh, Jaron Heil all of a sudden unlocked another gear. That's cool. I love that for us. Let me go ahead and shortlist this dude. Yeah, I don't know if he just figured out how to actually play second base or what happened, but he actually went from being like a mid-tier prospect to a really, really good one. Um, so I'm excited by that, and I'm really excited to see him uh, develop, and yeah, I love it. Everything about it. I wish the team batting leaders had... Uh, their war instead of just like I don't give a fuck about RBI. Let me let me customize this, please. I beg of you. Um, top players is fun, but again, you don't see war there either. I'll just stick with uh, team batting leaders for now. That's fine. Um, who is our best player so far? It is neck and neck between Alejandro Rivera and Eric Enfuso. Seeing Rivera get back to his elite level production is huge for us. Uh, that's a really nice feature to have with our team right now. Especially because they're paying him so much money. Um, he is not a cheap player. Um, yeah, Enfuso's crushing it. Um, and he's not crushing it by doing what he did last year, he's just hitting more. So I think he is going to be due for a bit of a letdown. Um, however... Oh, I can't offer you an extension. That's unfortunate. We can do it later on, I guess. But how's the pitching staff going? Friends, the pitching staff is doing excellent, except for our nominal closer. Um... You love giving up your home runs, don't you? That's a bad thing. Don't do that. Uh, giving up a home run every three innings is not good. Um, yeah. I hope you figure it out, dude. Because right now, you're making us look bad. No, we have plenty of people that seem relatively fresh. So I don't think we need to add another pitcher. Which is good to see. Which is great to see. All right. Um. I wouldn't mind giving Mayher another uh, someone other than Mayher a chance to close. I don't think that's his best role, but it's hard to pass our on pitchers this early into the season. Um. Also, we should be getting Nate Quinn back um in a month or so, and that'll be nice. Um, are we going to keep Nate Quinn? We will keep him uh, next season. Uh, but I'm not going to sign him long term. He's just injured too frequently. Um, and I need to find a more sustainable closer. So 
Don't be shocked if I go reliever early in this upcoming draft, because I think we do need more relieving talent um, at a high level. So that's kind of where we're going from there. Oh, we're missing out on Dusty. Hack, it does say it's also becoming very, very fragile. Oh, yeah, he's already wrecked in his injury potential. Um, that's fine. I mean, Dave Ormrod has the defense on lock, but he's a terrible hitter. Chris Blubbins is just terrible. Um... I could pick Z Zach Bouger here. Um, I think he could be a really good player. I just don't feel the need to rush. Whoa, Juan Carmona came out of nowhere. You're actually like a legitimately good pitcher. That's freaking wild. We could give my man Jorge here a chance. Um, I kind of don't think so, though. I don't know. Like, this is a lengthy injury. Like, this is not something that's going to disappear overnight. And so I don't want to be too flippant with who I make my second baseman. Like, they're going to be getting legitimate playing time. And nobody currently on the roster can play second very well. Let me do a side by side comparison of Ariola and Bouger, and whoever wins the comparison will be the one to make it. Okay. Offensively, other than hitting home runs, Ariola is by far the better hitter. Um, nickname goes to Bouger. I mean, his nickname is fucking Hercules. That's amazing. Um, let's look at their uh, defense. Ariola is by far the better defender, except for his turning of double plays. Bouger is much better at that, but is a little bit more error prone. Actually, a lot more error prone. Mm. Not helpful. It just seems like Ariola is the better player. And I feel like I'm looking for an excuse to keep Bouger. Like, I think someday he might be really, really good. And I like his speed. Oh, he is a lot faster than Ariola. That is interesting. You're a much better defender. You're a much better defender other than turning double plays. That is kind of important for a second base on the... I'm going to call up Bouger. But while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to add both Ariola and Carmona to the 40-man. I don't have to do it right now. I just don't want to forget about it. Sue Saldana. Yeah. Wait, do we randomly pull Valorama and make him our closer? It seems like that's what's happened. And that we put we put Archuleta back in the rotation. Hey, I'm willing to try it. Um if it makes us a better team, then sure. It's not really what I signed him for, but at least until Nate Quinn comes back, I'm okay with it. All right, let's let's head on down the line here. Oof, bit of a losing streak here. We're just getting hammered. There we go. Putting so putting a few dubs up on the board. Always appreciate that. 
I mean, hell, Juan Salazar is tied for the American League in home run, which I definitely didn't have on my bingo card at the beginning of this season. Okay. He is noseworthy, that's true. Josh Cruz is improving quickly. Gabe Vega is too. Yeah, I think Dusty Hackett has to go. Um, because I mean Gear didn't have to blister me. Uh that was unkind of him. As long as we have Hackett, we're gonna wanna play him. And I just don't think he can handle a full load. If I had my choice, if I could say Dusty Hackett rides the pine and only comes in on occasion, I would be fine with that. Oh, we're playing Salazar at second. That's how we decided to handle this mini crisis. I'm fine with that. Salazar's a really good player. So if you want to play second base, play second base, my friend. Make yourself happy. Um, Zapata already has 20 stolen bases this year. He might get into the 30-30 club this year, which would be pretty dope. Rivera's cooled off. Not a huge surprise. Aguilera's back in the lineup. Askin's on the lineup, even though neither one of them are terribly talented. Joey Newton is struggling badly. Okay. I need one of two things. I need a premium outfielder um, or a premium first baseman. I guess I don't need either one of those things, but it's something that we're, we're lagging behind on. Um, we don't have any of those things. Like, we have some people that might be great, but they're also pretty far away from the major leagues. But having a guy like Chris Blevin play for his face might be okay. I just don't know. I mean, Eric Askin has had 141 at-bats to show that he can't hit it. Let me check the trade block right now. Um, and I want to look first at first baseman. That's a hard no. Uh-uh. Guy who draws walks and does nothing else is not a recipe for success. Yeah, the truly excellent players aren't coming through that door right now. Which is a bit of a shame. Get Mike Bush back. That'd be funny. Mm. I'm just not seeing much. Um, I may wait until the trade deadline and then maybe try to make a move. Um, or hope that one of my youngsters, like a Jeff Schmo. Or Shumo, maybe, or Juan Loera can really make some upgrades uh, to their offensive capabilities here. Mm. I just feel like my my manager is obsessed with defense. I notice that a lot with the AI managers. Like they will be like, I want to play the best defensive player come hell or high water. And that leaves out really good offensive players, so. Um, I could try out Billy Pickren instead of Archuleta. But I feel like he's at least earned a month of grace to show what he can do before we make any drastic changes there. Okay, we can have Sean Lusco back. I'm in favor of this. 
Josh Thompson to the minors with you. I'm testing you for something. I just want to send him to the minors. Yeah. There you go. That's a nice little kick in the pants. I'm probably excited. I was when we got Aguilera. I was like, man, this guy's amazing. He's so cheap. Yeah, it looks like he was cheap for a reason. Is that he sucks? All right, Dusty Hackett. I feel like this is the time to trade him now. Like, I feel like he's not going to get any better, and somebody's going to go, ooh, gaudy numbers, and want him. I think we trade Dusty Hackett. And I will look at all regulars and prospects. I'm not going to take on a bunch of salary, but if I can find a great fit, I will make a move. Okay. Edgar Morales is good, but too much is riding on his ability to for power. I want a little bit more well-rounded skill set. Well, Fredo Morales is a little bit more well-rounded. Um, I can definitely appreciate him. So that's a definite possibility. Jesus Contreras is also quite good. And I like his high batting average on balls in play. What if I for Contreras and Morales? How would that look to you? And then I will finish today. I hear go on rehab. Absolutely not. I am not giving you any of those players for him. I think Contreras is a little bit better. I'm going to go with Contreras. Um, I will add you to the 40 man as I believe is required, but then I will go ahead and send you to AAA to work on your hitting. But it's not going to take much, because J.D. Moore and Eric Askin both fucking suck. So, if you can work hard in the minor leagues, you've got an excellent chance to crack the majors here, almost momentarily. I will miss Dusty Hackett. Um, I mean, we picked him out of the sixth round and turned him into a major league starter who even has a gold glove to his name. He just can't stay healthy. You can't stay healthy. What would I need to see from Contreras? I need to see him thrive in AAA. I think that's what has to happen. Because um, if he can develop uh, this season, he's got a he's got a, a, a he's got a one way ticket to the major leagues if he can improve to the extent that we think he can. By the way, I was on Reddit the other day, and people were like, the owner goals, they're really hard. Sometimes they are. I would like to just point out here, because we're winning, the rest of the shit doesn't matter. Like, it's nice if you can meet their specific goals, but a lot of times, you just can't. So, I'm through no fault of your own. Alright, let's get some people signed. Uh, chemistry is through the fucking charts. I don't want to lose anybody if I can avoid it. Um, Who will you let me hire? I can hire bench, bench coaches. So we'll go ahead and keep Antoine Anderson. He's pretty good at his job. Can I hire the pitching coach? Yes. So I can keep him around, and I have every intention of doing so. Done. 
It's not lost me, by the way, that my own contract is up for um, renewal. And then let's offer a bunch of minor league extensions. Because I really like what we've got what we've got cooking here in the minor leagues. We've got a nice pipeline of high quality coaches ready to step in if somebody retires or quits or is shot out of a cannon or whatever. Maybe not if they're shot out of cannon, but I think they're I think they're all special. Um yeah, we've got really good coaches up and down the minor leagues, and I don't think you can underestimate how valued that is. Overestimate, sorry, not underestimate. Ronnie L, you've earned another couple of years. Same with you, Chung Yun Cho. All right, let us pop on down to July. Last goes out for a week. I'm not even going to put him in the IL for that. Just fucking figure it out, dude. Here's what, here's what I like about Arizona. What I like about him very much is that he has amazing on-base skills. My problem is, is that that's almost all he has. But I'm willing to entertain the offer. I'm willing to entertain the offer. Joe Brooke is pretty decent. I don't want to lose him. And Broderick Greenan is a pretty nice reliever. I feel like this is, I want a better first baseman right now. But I'm not even convinced he will be a better first baseman. And I think that's my issue. Um, he wants to start very clearly, and I can make him start. That batting eye, though. I have a feeling he will outplay his stats. You know what? Eric Askin has been ass. Ken. So we're just going to make it happen. We're going to go ahead. I don't want to lose Joe Brooke. If I drop Joe Brooke, let's see what kind of offer. Let me see if you would take just Brennan. Because I will, I will give you that. I'm asking for a whole bunch of people. So let's see who the, the worst one of them is. You really like Ricky Ruger with his awful control? He's yours. Done. Um, I've seen what I need to see from Eric Askin, which is he's terrible. So how's about you go back to your home team and think about what you've done? And Mr. Arzola here is going to be given a chance to start now. Um, at the very least, we get an on-base machine, and that's very beneficial. That's really, really good. Okay, all-world closer Nate Quinn is ready to return. I don't want to get to Lesko, but I don't mind. No, Saldana's actually pitching really well. Let me send down actually. Let me go ahead and wave more, because I have a sneaking suspicion nobody is going to care. And then we can bring Nate Quinn back. Um, I don't need pitching. No, thank you. Pitching is not my problem. Uh, my problem is a consistent offense. 
My especially big problem is fucking Joey Newton leading off for a team when he's not getting on base. He's killing the rest of the lineup. I will overrule my manager if I have to, but I do not want Joey Newton leading off. Um, Billy Pickering's getting better. Salvato's getting better. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I think what's making Darren Hyde look so good is that he's picking up a new position, but he's also just a really good player. So I'm excited to see if he can continue to develop the way we hope he would. All right. So everything under the top of the lineup is good. And third base is a garbage player. But we need a third baseman, ideally, and or a right fielder. Joy Newton cannot lead off anymore. I would like you to bat him eight. I have to I have to convince you that no, he is bad. Don't start him that high. I mean, you cannot have a leadoff hitter who doesn't get on base. That is just not an okay thing. Hey, you want to lead off Enfuso? I'm all about that. I think that's a fine idea. He's crushing baseballs left and right. Let's do that. But I don't want Joy Newton leading off. I don't know that I want Joy Newton on the team at all anymore. But I definitely don't want him leading off. Um, Who do we have that could fill in at third base? I mean, Aguilera has nothing to offer. I'd say we let the kids cook. Let me try to flip Aguilar and see if anybody's interested in him. I only want prospects or regulars. I want nothing else from you, game. No. Uh-uh. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to release Aguilar. I'm just going to go out there and, and cut him loose and say, thank you for your service, but you're just not getting the job done anymore. And then Ariola is going to get called up, and he's going to take over one of the infield positions as well. This is a very young infield. Very, very young. But I think there's a lot of potential here. I think there's a fair bit of potential here. Now, the outfield solution, I don't have one. I don't know what we do about the outfield, but at least I feel reasonably good about first base. Well, that is unfortunate. However, however, we do have two excellent starting pitchers waiting for an opportunity, and I think this is Billy Pickering's time to shine. Um, I think he's an absolute stud, and I think if, if we can make the most out of him, like it just gets silly at that point. If we're able to generate that level of pitching skill, uh, I'm really happy about that. Even if Ernie Jarvis is having an insanely good year, as he often does. All right. So we got Casey Cho, who's having a fantastic season. Love that for us. Making the roster. Sergio Zapata and Eric Enfuso. Juan Salazar. I'm surprised one of our catchers didn't make it. But honestly, that's one, two, three... Four. Oh, Mitch Couples also made it. That's five All-Stars. I feel pretty good about that. Especially since one of them is not somebody I would have expected. But, yeah. I'm super, super, super pumped about how good our development is looking. Darren Hyle looks amazing. And that's it. That's the only player that cracked the roster. So funny. 
It is so hilarious to me that after all that group by gave us about losing David Gayona, fucking Portland turned around and pissed him away on a waiver claim. That's so funny. Just put him on your major league roster and you would have been able to keep him. That's funny. That's comedy. Is of high comedic value. Okay. What do I want in the draft? I want everything. I want every single player in the draft to come and play for me for free. That's what I crave. That is my desire. That is what I lust for. I don't know if that could happen though. So what do I want to focus on? I feel like if we take a quick look at our player development numbers here, I feel pretty good about our pitching pipeline. I think we have several pitchers that can all play a good role on the team without any serious any serious issues there. I feel like we're very thin at the outfield position. I think outfielder is something I would love to add to our team. I feel like a great reliever would be really beneficial as well. Like a really outstanding relief pitcher. Somebody that can take over when Nate Quinn goes. Because Nate Quinn will go. Nate Quinn will not be on the team for a whole lot longer. So that's kind of what I'm looking at here. Outfielder and and reliever potentially. But as always, nothing is promised. We want the best players we can get, whatever, regardless of position. Especially because they draft so late in the draft. Um, if we were drafting, you know, in the top 10, I'd be a lot more picky. I'm not that picky. Let's, let's get after it. I mean, Lucius Ledgister would be a fucking incredible addition. I, I need to keep an eye on him because that name is amazing. No, no, this is a Steve Austin, not the Steve Austin. Uh, get it right. Sadly, my man Lucius is already gone. Uh, a disappointing, sad moment. F in the chat for the greatest name of all time. Uh, Chris Frey. Mm. I think he's good. I just don't know that he's worth what he thinks he's worth, if that makes sense. Interesting. Very interesting. Don Sutton is a true... Dan Sutton, excuse me, is the god of batting, allegedly. And is a true two-way player who also happens to catch. That is Cuckoo Bananas. I want a piece of that. Yeah. Let's 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 do it. Okay. I like this kid a lot. I wish he wasn't stupid, but I like him a lot. He's got great power, an amazing eye, good contact, doesn't strike out a lot. I think he's the exact kind of player we want on our team. Let's not overthink it. Come on down. Low leadership and loyalty does cause me some concern, but he's a really good all-around offensive and defensive catcher. I think that's a worthwhile thing to invest in. Uh, I will offer you your demand. Tracy Neusbaumer. That's bait. That is bait. He is stupid fast. Really great contact numbers, but he's a terrible outfielder. He has no power, and he doesn't draw walks. Uh-uh. Hard passerino. Alfredo Camarena figuring out how to hit or figuring out how to play the field also seems like a bad bet. 
Zach Carr keeps following, and I'm not sure why, except for his ridiculous salary demands, I'm sure. I'm going to draft him. I have nothing better to do with my money, and I do need more talent in the infield corners. How much money would be enough? You want over $8.5 million. How's about $10 million? In unmarked bills... Come be a silver bullet. Um, Chris Mossbacker is a really interesting player. I don't love him. I think he's at best a mid-tier second baseman, but he's got really good offensive skills. He doesn't have bad intelligence skills. He just wants a lot of money and isn't a great leader. I'm willing to let him develop in our system. I think that's reasonable. Done. Ken Barnard is perfectly fine. Um, he's not good, but he is there. He's absolutely one of the players of all time. Mike Hughes is better, though. Mike Hughes is a lot better. We'll take Mike Hughes. Um, we really need to get a pitcher, though. Like, we've gone nothing but offense this draft, and I think we're falling out of the pitching picture. So that'll be my goal, is to find a good pitcher. Steve Madigan cannot play the infield at all. Jonathan Carmian is pretty good. I guess my problem is, like, I don't want to take a bad pitcher, but I could instead take a good hitter. So I think I just keep going with what's working for me. Like, I don't see a whole lot of value in Birkin or Ruringer. I like Chris Wiggins a lot. I think we go after him. I wish he had a cur I wish he had a breaking ball. That's just an Abby preference. I don't think it actually makes a difference in the game. But he's got a lot of velocity and I think he can figure out how to use it so we can keep him around. Juan Flores is just a hard working power hitting first baseman. For the ninth round, done. Uh, no, I don't want batting readings. I want batting potential. Alan Perry has an amazing hit tool. And I think he has nothing else. This feels like the kind of the part of the draft where you can take a risk on a player like this and see if they figure it out. So I think Alan Perry is a good, is a, is a worthwhile risk this late in the draft. <clears throat> Jake Simmons, maybe he'll figure out how to play the field. Um, I think he's got a little bit of upside to him. Let's grab Jakey Boy. I feel like Mike Woods is a good risk. Um, again, we're in the 12th round now. I don't know why I wouldn't take the risk. I've got to get pitching arms in here, though. Do have any good stuff, people? Yes. Several. Let's start with Dan Kelly. I mean, we could just take... What if we got the ultimate strikeout machines and see if they figure out how to pitch along the way? I'm going to take Joe Liren. I don't have a lot of faith about him being able to be amazing, but I do think he's got something to offer. All right, let's go back to batting potential. Let's pick up Chris Ascot here.
any really good batting eyes left? Juan Delgado is pretty decent. Let me grab Steve Bennett. Oh no, we can grab the Beeb. And then if he's still around, we can grab Steve Bennett. Here we go. Yeah, we can do that. I have three rounds left. I want raw power. I want raw, unadulterated power. Jonathan Gillespie is really good defensively. Let's grab him and see if he ever figures out how to hit. And then our final pick in the draft is going to be Jeff Wilson here. Let's see if he can figure out how to hit. There we go. Job's done. Offers being made. Amazing. I think low-key, the secret of this draft is going to be Dan Sutton. Um... Like, he's already a pretty damn good catcher, but if he can also be a damn good pitcher, and I think he can, that's just ridiculous. Like, it's truly absurd that he has this many pitches. He's not a great pitcher. Just doesn't throw very hard. But we can work on that. Uh, he has a low-key chance to be a genuine two-way player, which I'm all for. Um. Oh, yeah, I guess I should finish the draft, huh? Okay. That's fair. I wonder if we should increase the number of playoff teams. Because you do have Philly Dude. Man, whatever. I don't even care. It seems like we're not scoring consistently, which does concern me pretty greatly. Romero's going to retire. Oklahoma City would send me Kurt Matthews. I could get him back for Rob Reese. It's not a terrible offer. Who is presently playing third base for us? It's Jorge Ariola. I still have no idea if he's any good or not. Hmm. Lineup and getting it done. Um, he would potentially offer a superior lineup presence. What are you asking for? You're asking for Rob Reese. He is fine, but it's hard to get excited about him. You know what? Let's try it out. I'm not opposed to getting. A player of his caliber. Arzola is drawing walks. He's just not drawing enough of them. But then again, he's barely played. So, whatever. I'm going to send Bougere to the minors. And I'm going to go ahead and call up Kurt Matthews. And then we'll see where he gets to play. A little bit of veteran know-how. Could help stabilize this lineup a little bit. I really want a new outfielder though. I want someone to replace Joey Newton. Um, because Joey Newton ain't getting it done. No, I'm not giving you actually good players for someone who's already 38. That's can we get a better veteran for sake of getting a better veteran? That fucking sucks. That is incredibly cruel of you to take my best player this season and injure him right in the middle when we desperately need the very best we can get. Um, that is no bueno and very mean of you. Game. Damn. He's having an amazing season too, which really sucks. Um, which really, really sucks, but it is what it is. You give me Nelson Argli Argila. No, I don't think so. Hmm. 
Nope. Nah, I don't think so. I do like Brendan Emery. Oh, Brendan Emery can play right field. Cervantes is also really intriguing. Andres Luna is too good to let go, though. But I would give you Jorge Alvarado. If I drop Luna, what does this deal look like here? What if I gave you Joey Newton? Hey, you want McDonald, you can have him. I think this is a huge coup. And let's get, uh, where did Brendan Emery go? There he is. Let's get you on the Major League roster. Because here's the thing. I think you just kept playing him out of habit, but Joey Newton clearly wasn't getting anything done for me this year. Um, Because Alvarado's not that great. He has no good pitches, and yeah, so I'm pretty happy about that trade. Because if we can wake up offensively, we've got every possibility to make some moves here. Okay, let me look at the standings right now. We are in the third wild card spot right now. Okay, how many teams do we have around? Do we have 36 teams or do we have 34 teams? I think we have 34. How many teams make the playoffs? I feel like it's reasonable to add another wild card in both leagues. I think that's reasonable. Let's do it. Yeah, I feel good about that. And then go ahead and reseed, please. All right, and hit confirm. I think that's reasonable. I think 14 playoff teams for, or sorry. Yeah, I think 14 playoff teams for, wait, how many teams are there? Okay, let me count. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm being silly here. I'm really it's just so it's easier for me to make the playoffs, by the way. That's not my goal here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. Okay, there are thirty four teams. Okay. Fourteen out of thirty four seems pretty reasonable to me. Um,. Hard pass. I can't afford you. That is my only problem with trying to acquire you, is that I cannot afford you. And I'm not going to take you over keeping Carrillo. So thank you, but no thank you. Our pitching staff is phenomenal. 
So if I'm not able to add offensive talent, I'm not really going to bother too much with trading. Uh, ooh. Okay. Eligio Baltastuzzi. I feel like I fall for guys like this, too. Like, this is another one of my types that I get weak for. I think he's got some upside to him. And what are you asking? You're asking for Belvea, who sucks. Olivas, who sucks. And Tiggle, who sucks. I feel like this is a pretty good trade. It's at least got some upside to it. I will make that trade. Uh, I do not want Chris Rainey, and not for Archuleta. I think Archuleta is a little bit too good pitching wise to be for me to be willing to pull the trigger here. Plus, I don't need first base. Um, I'm pretty happy with our different options at first base. Um. Eric Hassinger, I'd like you to go to the minors, please. Um, I have too many infielders. I have way too many infielders. Um, who is playing which position right now? Bouger is leading off and playing shortstop. Ariola is playing third base. I'm going to send Bouger to the minors. And I'm going to go ahead and call up Baltistuzzi. And just see where we play him and, and how he works out for us. That boy got some thump on him, I tell you what. I feel pretty good about our deadline. Um, offer me Luis Olivo. No, thank you. I think we've done good. I I feel pretty proud of what we've accomplished during this deadline. Um, I think Balta Stuzzi is low-key a pretty amazing acquisition. Um... I think we've added a lot of talent and a guy like a Kurt Matthews. I think he's got some upside to him. Um, Yeah, I just, I feel good about our team. I just wish it had a little bit more upside, but I'm also interested to see what you do with Emery here. Because I think Emery's got a lot to offer also. And you're going to start Emery at third base. I'm happy with that. Let's let Emery actually get some playing time in. Um, and hopefully, because one thing we don't have a lot of is we don't have a lot of on-base guys. We have some. We have some really good ones and guys like Rivera and Arzola. But other than those two and Zapata, we're not great at getting on base, which I think is part of the issue why we're struggling so much. But losing Mitch Couples for a month is going to fucking suck. But... It is what it is. There's very little I can do about that. Um, Uh, Pickering's getting better. Nice. Some good stuff here, friends. Some very good stuff. Seeing people make incremental gains is always good. That is huge. That is mega... Mega, mega, super huge. I feel like Billy Pickering needs to go back to the minor leagues to season a little bit more. 
Uh, how long is Ariola out for? Food poisoning, three days. Okay, I'm not even going to bother with that. Been there, brother. Been there. I do not care about Robbie Reese in the slightest. Is anyone Saldana has been so good? Like, I just have no need for a Robbie Reese. I can send him to the miners. Oh, really? Um, let me put you on the 40 man. I'll let me put you on the rehab assignment then, and I can call you up when rosters expand. If we can get a cheeky little win streak here, I think we could do some real damage and move up the ranks. That's my opinion, anyway. We need to fix the on-base problem, though. I think that's a pretty obvious problem for us to deal with. I think the division title is, is out of reach. I don't think we're going to be able to win that. But getting a guy like Mitch Couples back only helps. It only helps. Arzola, I'm going to send you back to the minors for right now. Because um, I don't need two first basemen. But I do need Mitch Couples desperately. Ahem. <clears throat> It's my change often my change, but yes, that is what Preacher Rose said. Ariola is developing though. Um he's been kind of thrown into the fire and I think he's doing quite well with it. And he is one of the answers to the question, how can we improve our our on base skills. Um, him continuing to develop is a key piece to that. It's a nice improvement by Jeff Christie there. Juan Huera. Okay. No, that sucks. Um, that is the worst. Because he's basically not going to be able to come back for the postseason. Um, I feel like Ted Salvato's got a decent chance to be called up just because he's got a fairly well-rounded offensive skill set. Let's do that. <clears throat> but let's be clear, I fully expect Koizumi to be the one who takes over and plays center field. Um, that is awful timing. That is truly horrific timing. Oh, yeah, I guess I did say I was going to bring him back, didn't I? Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah, the 42, the 40 man roster is full, isn't it? I don't really want Reese back, to be honest with you, but I don't have a reason not to, so. I'm going to call up um, Pickering and then Carmona. And Arzola and Bougere and Contreras. All y'all can come on down.
We've clinched the postseason. I am reasonably pleased. Damn, 400 homers for Sergio Zapata. I never thought he would fall short on the home runs for his 30-30 season. Might have fallen short on both, actually. I didn't look. Shockingly, nobody wanted him. I'm utterly gobsmacked. I have a feeling that, yes, I know we're going to make the postseason, but I don't know how well we're going to do when we get there unless it just comes down to how good my pitching can be. And I don't know the answer to that. Um, but I think it is my one big advantage is I do have, I have a very deep lineup and I have a fantastic pitching staff. That's what we're working with here. My boy Saldana has had such an amazing season with his pitching. I'd rather leave Carmona off the list than Saldana. Um, how many outfielders am I carrying? I'm carrying five outfielders. I'm going to remove Arzola so that I can add on Bougere, just because I want plenty of options in case somebody gets hurt in the infield. All right. So let's be about it, friends. Good, good. Off to a great start. Casey Cho got lit up. It all comes down to, if, if I could put the, hand, the ball in the hands of any one person and say, save my season, it's Ernie Jarvis. Get her done, lad. Nice. Very nice. He just comes up big in big moments. He just comes up big. He's close, man. He is close to being a Hall of Famer. Um, That is some top-tier shit right there. Uh, Sim until the next playoff round, please and thank you. What does the bracket look like now? Oh, it's the same. Yeah, it's just awkward because they don't all quite fit. But yeah, it's... Uh... There we go. And of course, we, we run into the Yankees. Um, I don't love that for us, but... We've got to win the low-scoring games, I think. I think that's our key to being successful in this series. Or they could just beat the shit out of both of my pitchers and just put in a position where we don't have a snowball's chance in hell. That could happen, too. Damn, we finally, Christina finally retired. Yeah. We choked. Um, And to be honest, this wasn't that great a team. This was a good team. But it definitely lacked the top to bottom presence that we really need. Plus, we didn't get big performances from our big players. And that's always going to hurt you. You're not going to win too many series where you only hit two home runs the entire series. Um, so it is what it is. Um, yeah. Uh, lovely to have you back, Eric. I wish you hadn't gotten hurt in the first place because I think that was at least part of why we didn't do very well. Um...
I guess we could do it as 16 and not have any buys at all. I don't know. I think 14 is fine for now. And if you all have thoughts about how many people should make the playoffs, you can drop that in the comments and let me know. I think I'm fine with 14, though. I mean, look, Nelson Escalante and Jim Koontz were amazing, and I didn't have either one of them. I think I had a lot of very good players this year, but I don't think we had great players this year. Um, so yeah, haha, -ha, Los Angeles, you lost fucking Hackett for another six weeks. Typical Hackett behavior. He's all Admiral Hackett, that's for sure. That is a certainty. Come on, game. Keep on. I believe in you. You can finish today. All right. We have an important question to answer, which is, is Nate Quinn wrecked? He is fragile, um, but he barely pitched this year. And he's, he's not the same force he had been in years past. I feel like voiding his option is the right call, and then maybe talking to him about taking a lower, uh, a, an extension. I think Nate Quinn is fantastic, don't get me wrong, and I think he's been a really big piece of our success. But at the same time, he just doesn't stay healthy. Like, having 60 amazing innings is great, but I would like more than that, please. Um, I think we void his contract and see if we can get him to sign a longer term but shorter deal. Okay, nothing changes here. I get a new contract. Of course I do. Want to go to more road games? I don't fucking care, man. I really don't care. All right. I'm going to make a very quick check to see what Nate Quinn actually wants to stick around. Oh, I can literally not afford him. It is not possible for me to afford him. That is unfortunate. But I'm not going to give him a qualifying offer. Um, that's not going to happen. So, yeah. Um, who did well this season? Who really carried us this season? I think to no surprise, Sergio Zapata was our best player again. He's not what he used to be, but he's changing in interesting ways. Um, like, I never thought that he would lose out on a 30-30 season because he didn't hit 30 home runs. That's pretty wild to me. Uh, instead, he stole the most bases of his career by far, which is pretty crazy. Mitch Couples, man, if he had said healthy too, gosh, what an amazing year he had. A 6-12 slugging percentage is absurd. It is the height of absurdity, and I love him for it. Eric and Fuso, same drill. If he hadn't gotten hurt, we would have been even better. He had for a decent average, lots of power, gets on base, everything you want in a player. Rivera had a very nice uh, year after a couple of years where he was a bit off his game. Much better this year. More power, more on base skills. You love to see it. This was low-key a Juan Salazar breakout year. Like, of all the players I thought would play a big role in this team, I never expected him to be the one. But he had a great season. While playing two pretty challenging positions. And if he can be a good defender that also manages to hit home runs regularly. I think that's a fantastic addition to this club. Kurt Matthews is whatever. I need a permanent solution to the first base problem. I just don't know where it's going to come from. 
Uh, Brendan Emery had a really good season, low-key. He just didn't get to play very much. He's an answer to that question, potentially. Um, I like how you had 35 home runs or with one win above replacing because you just struck out so damn much. We might need to work on that in the offseason, but 35 home runs is nothing to sneeze at. Um, Ariola really struggled, but also developed a lot. I think he's got a really good chance to just get another chance. Nice. Um, to just figure out what position he's best at. Like, I, I don't see him disappearing. Pitching wise, man. I think we have a very easy decision to make, which is re-signing Carrillo. eventually but i have an even easier decision to make i cannot pay masuda 24 million dollars for three war is just not worth it to me it just isn't and it causes me so many other problems having to pay his salary i'm gonna non-tender him i'm gonna try to trade him if i can um somebody might want him let's actually end the episode trying to trade him for the best prospects I can. Can I get a multi-prospect package, please? That would be amazing. Uh, TJ Madigan isn't that great. There's not a lot to like there. Jesus Ayon is pretty good. I don't mind David and Zenas. This is an okay trade. It's not great, but it's okay. Uh, you can't play center rod. Really strongly consider that one. Hmm. Hmm. I already looked at that one, didn't I? You know, I guess we could trade for a regular. I guess it doesn't have to be just a prospect. Chris Rainey is pretty good. Chris Rainey might be the ticket here. I'm going to keep looking, but I think trading for Chris Rainey would actually be a pretty big boost to this club. And he's got the on-base skills I want. He's got good power. He's a good all-around first baseman. He's got a track record of success at the major league level. I'm in. done i think that was an easy choice and that's just a free, gonna free up more options for us here as we progress through the off season but that is it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed today's episode please remember to like if you haven't already subscribe to the channel if you want more content click the bell notification if you want to get a notification whenever new videos and by all means please comment especially if you have an idea for a new monday series when the OOTP series then concludes. Until next time, this has been Guardian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.